Hello, this brief video will show you how to visualize gain and lift charts out of applying machine learning models in Oracle Analytics. This capability was added in the October 2021 upgrade of Oracle Analytics. So I have several machine learning models in my OEC environment. And in this case, for example, I have two models that run classification on, on the list of banking customers about their propensity to buy insurance or not. So this model, for instance, is using a decision tree algorithm to classify. And here are the parameters. Here are the columns that it has in its tree, in its decision trees. And here are different hyper parameters for the model. And I have another model that also runs the same classification, but this time using naive Bayes algorithm. These two models happen to be from OML, but the lift and gain feature works just as well for OAC native models. So we are going to apply these models to our data set, banking customer data set. So here are our customers and let's apply the decision tree based model. So we're going to run apply model in the data flow and select the decision tree model to be run. So OSA automatically matches our data with the column that the model is expecting. In this case, they have the same name, so there's nothing for us to do. And now under the parameter block, we have the option to turn on compute lift and gain. So this will let OSC calculate lift and gain so that we can visualize it. We have to specify what is the actual data column, in this case, buy insurance, and what's the class, so the value that we want to track. In this case, buy insurance equals yes. So now all we have to do is to save the resulting data set under a new data set name and the data flow will run. It will create two data set in this case. One data set will be the result of the apply model and the other data set is the lift calculation. So if we go in the data set, we see now just two data set that were created. The customer insurance DT, which is the result of the prediction. And another one, which is DT underscore lift, which holds the lift information. So if I open it, there are several columns about gain, lift, cumulative gain, and cumulative lift by percentile of the record. So percentiles are 100 uh, rows in this data set, representing each percentile of the data set. And we can represent the cumulative gain for each of these percentiles. So gain is the benefit that we have in selecting the records in the data set according to their prediction probability versus selecting them completely randomly. And that's indicated by this dark blue curve. And the optimal point is where the blue curve is the furthest away from the yellow baseline. That's where we have the maximum benefit in selecting records according to their prediction versus selecting them randomly. So that's the gain. So if we run the same data flow for different models, and I did it also for the naive based model here, we can compare the gain lift curves for different models on the same chart. So here's the black line representing the cumulative gain for the naive base model versus the blue line, which is the decision tree model. So we can see that one is better than the other and we can easily compare. This data set outputs also include lift information, which is a different metric for the same performance measurement. If represented on the same visualization as a gain chart, lift information needs to be set to Y2 axis so that it properly scales, so we can compare models here. Thanks for watching this video.